you should go read Onani Master Kurosawa, and I'm going to tell you why. Onani Master Kurosawa is a 2006 manga written by Katsura Issei and illustrated by Takuma Yokota about a boy in middle school named Kurosawa, who is, as the title suggests, a master of Onani. Now, for the bakagaijins in the audience, Onani means masturbation. And while I think every teenager is fairly adept at that, Kurosawa takes it a little bit further than most people, sneaking into the third floor girl's bathroom every day after school to practice his craft, let's say. Now before you ask, no, this isn't porn. It definitely gets pretty detailed at times with Kurosawa's fantasies to help you sort of get into his mind space, because that is an important part of the series, but it never actually shows nudity. That said though, you're probably not going to want to read this one at work. Or on the bus. Or really anywhere where people can see you. The manga starts off seeming like some kind of dark comedy, making jabs at the edgelord protagonists of its time, like Lelouch, or especially Light from Death Note. There's a good reason why people jokingly call this Fap Note. But it starts to show its true colors with the introduction of Kitahara Aya, a small, shy girl who is being ruthlessly bullied. Now, Kurosawa might be an antisocial jackass, but he is by no means heartless. And seeing the torture that she is suffering through fills him with a kind of indignant sense of justice. So he sprays his justice all over the bully's uniforms, carefully exacting vengeance in a way that couldn't possibly be blamed on Kitahara. You know, biologically speaking. Now, that'd all be fine and dandy, he does succeed in making the bullies tone that shit way down, though not quite stop, but then the series gets into the meat of its story, when Kitahara, using information uniquely available to her, confronts Kurosawa on the other side of a bathroom door pinning the crime on him. While Kurosawa is panicking about being thrown in jail, Kitahara has other plans, and decides to play it being the catcher in the girl's bathroom. That's a literary reference to the catcher in the rye, and definitely nothing else, I assure you. And from there, she begins blackmailing him into exacting the same vengeance on everyone who has ever wronged her. And considering her role as the class punching bag, that is a long and increasingly petty list. Now, I don't want to go too much further than that. The story really blossoms into something special as it goes on, and it deserves to be experienced firsthand. The writing really impressed me telling the story of these two hopeless introverts struggling to find their place in the world. The way the characters grow and develop truly moved me, and the last third or so of the manga had me crying like a baby like nothing else. It's easily one of my favorite manga of all time, and I just had to make a video to try to get more people to read it. It's only 31 chapters long, and if you need more, there's a short story epilogue called After the Juvenile, which I'll go ahead and link a translation to in the description below, as well as in an annotation link somewhere around here. Anyway, I hope you check it out, and if you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you liked it, or maybe left a comment below. It's my first time making this kind of video, so if you've got any suggestions, criticisms, whatever you've got, lay them on me. Likewise, if there's any other underrated series you'd like to hear me blab into a microphone about, whether it's a manga, anime, book, video game, or whatever, really, I'd love to hear about them. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah, seriously, go read Onani Master Kurosawa. You won't be disappointed.